Hello viewers, this is BitNation taking a look at Master of Orion. It's the new installment and a fan uh, favorite. We're doing a Critical Hits series and we're taking a look. Uh, I am familiar with Master of Orion 2 and the first installments. Uh, the third was a bit uh, too involved from what uh, everyone said. So I, I passed on that and uh, we have the guys here. We're taking a look, seeing some of the mechanics, seeing what works, what doesn't. Uh, so let's uh, begin here. The different races uh, essentially will gear it uh, towards how your path to victory will be with your perks, whether you can inhabit you know, solar systems easier on water, desert, whether you're research, you know, driven, whether you're production driven. Each race has its... Yeah, I mean, not only do your ships benefits. look different, but then, like, like the cat race, they can take completely desert planets and turn it into grassland planet. No, no other ones can do that. Um... What else? As 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 this rate, you, as like this race, you start off with a certain something, you know. Not to mention, apparently, this race, based on population, you get that much more in, in your research. You know? So being this race, doing research and stuff is a lot easier than if it would be for like another race that's more combative. Each instance of this game is a this. new galaxy. Yeah. So this is it, the entire world to explore. We've it's been playing it for like an hour. It. Or Every so time. we've barely explored, like we've explored a, 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 a maybe a quarter of it, but that's with the help of trading maps with another race. And then there's pirates. There's like random people pirates. There's there's monsters and shit. The space penis. Yeah, the gigantic <laughs> space eel. Space eel. So each of these is its own planetary system. On each planet, you can fight. You can make marines that hold, that can defend your planet against invasion by an outside force. You can kind of say, okay, for this planet, we want this much to go into food production, this much to go into actual production of, like, ships and, and, and buildings and shit, and then this much to go into research and whatnot. And then it also gives you your stats on that planet. But then, as you can see, each planet, like, has its own characteristics. Like, this one is a medium size with okay mineral. And then it's made out of ocean. Some of them are irradiated. super rich, but irradiated. Like on this one, it has red fungus. On this one, it has gems. But as you can see, the minerals are ultra poor. So all you'd be doing there is, is harvesting the gems. So it's like on this one, in Detroit. The, the monster is, <laughs> it looks like the monster is defending a super mega rich planet. Ultra rich planet that's oceans and yeah. stuff. And so you can also... Theraprime look at your ship and customize it customize it however you want and in this situation you can swap out your weapons for your little ships you can swatch out your armor your drive any kind of additional stuff and you can fuck with all that stuff and you can add themes to them apparently and so there's a big huge tech tree of where you started with space travel so that you're able to travel to other planets the and then the you can and this is in all 4x games um, it's grown more intricate as time goes on, as Sam will tell you, but essentially this is how it works. You pick a tech tree and then, oh, I want to I wanna do this because this will give me that. Oh, okay, I need this and this and these and these, these and those, and then you got to figure out what you want. The different suns <laughs> offhand will tell you what the planets might have around. Young stars that have rich, that, that have mineral-rich planets but might not be able to support life. Yeah. And then there's also... Like blue and white tend to be the best. Yeah. And as you can see here, there's even like wormholes where you can teleport. And then the reason why it's called, why is it called Master of Orion? Right? What's the, what's the purpose of that name? Well? Well, Master of Orion is essentially the, the key to ultimate victory uh, quickly by harnessing a technology of an advanced race that will just completely make you OP. <laughs> so 
So if you find them and... and you get through the the defenses of whatever is defending that technology, it's like super Which is Orion. <laughs> Orion's a ship. And so you would essentially become the master of Orion and then just pimp slap everyone. All right, so this is combat. For sure. Okay, so it's Looks it's nice. so the combat is real time here. So they're attacking your space station. We're attacking uh, them with some kind of missile. Blow up our star base, or they're gonna infiltrate and take it over. I guess the the one guy manning the star base that you have is doing a good job. <laughs> well, it seems like the star base has like multiple multiple defenses. Yeah. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's our look at uh, Master of Orion on the PC. Uh, release date is actually February 26th, 2016, developed by NGD Studios. It's currently $49.99 on Steam. Um, well, uh, as far as I'm concerned, $49.99 for this game and all the other Master of Orions, not a bad price. Now, while it's still in early access, what I've seen is promising, and I think the final product could be incredible. Incredible. Um, Brian? Uh, my thoughts on this, you know, worth it. Uh, you get the full series. Um, it's a, a price point that's acceptable. Um, you know, the, the creators are obviously fans of the originals, and you see... Uh, you know, you see it and more in uh, a very polished sense. So, um, you know, they're still uh, working on it, obviously. Um, I can't wait to see what uh, comes with the customizing your race and yeah, right. uh, getting that going. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the, the battle uh, system, I'm sure, is going to be more than phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, once uh, things start off in uh, February, so I'm looking forward to it, and I I give it a thumbs up. All right, awesome, Sam. Yeah, I mean, like the finished product, I'm assuming is going to be not wildly different, but very different from this in a lot of ways. And you know, like you said, it's early access, so you know, for what we're seeing right now, it looks fun. I mean. Like, yeah, I'd play it, but I'd still eventually go back to Civilization and just keep doing that, but that's just me. That's because you, yeah, I mean, you're a big fan. I've been playing Civilization since, you know, the first one, so... Would you say this is worth the price tag, it being this and three other games? I've never played the other ones, so I can't speak to them, but for this game, uh, you know, voice actors were cool, uh, the... The ship combat was seemed cool. All right. Fifty bucks, sure. And grant, you know, knowing that there's going to be more eventually, yeah, fifty bucks is fine. Cause I've spent sixty on games that were way crappier than this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to say way crappier because this game isn't crappy. Just less. Mm -hmm. You know. Right. Understood. Understood. All right. Well, there you have it then. Um, I mean, I guess we have three yeses. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So there you go. Go out and right. buy it. Um, or if you want to wait for the full release since it's still in early access, you That's definitely can. But as of right now, if you pay for the forty nine ninety nine, you get all the other games too to hold you over. Well, um, for all of us here at BitNation, my name's Eric. My name's Brian. And Sam. Thank we'll you very much you. for watching. We'll see you next time here on Critical Hits.